वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स आई एम पूजा माथुर फ्रॉम स्कूल ऑफ मेडिकल एंड अलाइड साइंसिस जी डी गोइंग का यूनिवर्सिटी गुरुग्राम टूडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट प्री फॉर्मुलेशन स्टडीज सो द कंटेंट दैट इंक्लूड्स इन योर सिलेबस आर इंट्रोडक्शन टू प्री फॉर्मुलेशन इट्स गोल्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव स्टडी ऑफ फिजिको केमिकल करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द ड्रग सब्सटांसिस बी सी एस क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ ड्रग एप्लीकेशन ऑफ प्री फॉर्मुलेशन कंसिडरेशन एंड इट्स इम्पैक्ट ऑन स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ डोसेज फॉर्म लाइक सॉलिड डोसेज फॉर्म लिक्विड डोसेज फॉर्म एंड पेरेंट्रल एंड इट्स इम्पैक्ट ऑन स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ डोसेज फॉर्म सो इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ प्री फॉर्मुलेशन स्टडीज इट्स गोल्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड वी विल स्टडी ए पार्ट ऑफ physico chemical characteristics of the drug substances so let's start with the introduction what is pre formulation pre formulation testing is the first step in the rational development of a dosage form from a drug substance pre formulation is the phase of research and development in which the physical and chemical properties of a drug molecules are determined in order to develop a safe effective and stable dosage form pre formulation commences when a newly synthesized drug shows a sufficient pharmacological effects in animal models to warrant its evaluation in human beings so pre formulation studies focused on those physico chemical properties of a new drug compound that could affect drug pre performance and development of an efficacious dosage form in the simplest way pre formulation studies are performed to remove all the barriers in the path of formulating a drug pre formulation studies play a very important role in drug development various phases of drug development are pre clinical studies phase 1 clinical studies phase 2 clinical studies phase 3 clinical studies and then phase 4 is the scale up for market launch in the pre clinical studies pre formulation studies are performed to determine best formulation for animals in phase 1 studies pre formulation studies are performed to determine best formulation for human volunteers in phase 2 studies pre formulation studies are determined for formulating best formulation for clinical trial and in phase 3 and scale up for market launch pre formulation studies are performed to finalize formulation for market launch now i am going to discuss with you about its goal and objectives so pre formulation the objectives of pre formulation studies are to generate useful information about formulation in developing most stable and by available dosage form the another objective is to establish necessary physico chemical parameters of new drug substances that can promote development of an efficacious stable and safe dosage form another objective is to determine the kinetic rate profiles for the development of dosage form to establish physical characteristics of a drug substances it's another goal and objective is to establish compatibility studies with common excipients and also to provide insight into how drug product should be processed these studies are performed to produce optimal drug delivery systems now we will talk about physico chemical characterization under this topic we will be discussing about physical properties and chemical properties under the physical properties we have main three properties which we are going to study first is organoleptic characterization like colors odor taste etc next is bulk characterization under bulk characterization we will study about crystallinity amorphism flow properties and solubility profile under solubility profile we will be studying pka ph and partition coefficient next physico chemical characterization is chemical properties under this we will study about hydrolysis oxidation reduction racemization and polymerization so first of all we discuss about physical properties 
physical properties of a drug molecule can affect the structure stability and viability of a dosage form therefore physical properties are the very important parameter under pre formulation studies so the first physical properties we, we are going to discuss about is organoleptic characterization organoleptic characters are those which are being perceivable by the senses such as color odor texture taste according to these characterization a product should be good in appearance color should be eye appealing odor and taste should be pleasant there should be absence of impurities and product must exist in its purest form next physical property is bulk characterization according to your syllabus under bulk characterization we will be studying crystallinity amorphism and polymorphism fine particle characterization powder flow property bulk characterization is required to avoid misleading in the prediction of stability or solubility which depends on particular crystal system bulk characterization involves the characterization of various solid state properties that could change during process development of any product so under the bulk characterization first we are discussing about crystallinity amorphism and polymorphism so first of all crystal can be of different shapes example cubic tetragonal and orthorhombic etc crystals are the solid in which the component atoms are arranged in a definite pattern and whose surface regularity reflects is its internal symmetry the crystal habit and crystal internal structure of a drug can affect the bulk and flow properties as well as chemical stability of a drug crystal habit is defined as the outer appearance of the crystal and crystal internal structure is the molecular arrangement within the solid De degree of crystallinity affects the hardness density and diffusion of its drug substance from its dosage form crystallinity has a greater effect on the bioavailability of drugs under bulk characterization next topic is amorphism some drugs are exist in amorphous state they are typically prepared by rapid precipitation and lyophilization techniques amorphous drugs represent highest energy state or higher thermodynamic energy than the crystalline state amorphous form are less stable than its crystalline state atoms and molecules are randomly placed in it internal structure shows distinction between crystalline and amorphous form of a drug the solubility of amorphous form is greater than its crystalline state one of the major disadvantage for developing a dosage form in amorphous form is thermodynamic instability of amorphous drug so the under bulk crystallization next topic is polymorphism so polymorphism means when a substance exists in more than one crystalline form the different form different forms are designated as polymorphs and the phenomena is known as polymorphism there are two kind of uh, polymorphism first is enantiotropic polymorphs these are the one which can be reversibly changed into another form by altering the temperature or pressure second type of polymorph is monotropic polymorphs these are the polymorphs which is unstable at all temperature and pressure polymorphs differ from each other with respect to their solubility melting point density and various physical properties the stable form of polymorphs have lower energy state high melting point least aqueous stability the methods by which we can determine the polymorphism are differential scanning calorimetry and x-ray diffraction methods so the next topic under bulk characterization is fine particle characterization the bulk flow of a drug drug homogeneity 
dissolution diffusion of a drug and stability these are the parameters which are directly affected by size shape and surface morphology of the drug particle so particle size is also a very important parameter under the physico chemical characterization of pre formulation so under fine particle characterization we are going to discuss about particle size particle size basically affect drug release from a dosage form drug absorption therapeutic action drugs physical stability flow properties etc particle size is generally measured in microns or micrometer various methods by which we can determine the particle size are optical microscopy optical microscopy gives us the number distribution next method to determine particle size is sedimentation method sedimentation is determined by using anderson pipette method next method is conductivity method which is based on the principle of change of light intensity using methods like counter coulter method and light scattering method next method to determine particle size is sieving method in which we used standard sieve sets so under fine particle characterization next factor is particle shape particle shape influences surface area flow properties packing arrangements and compaction of the particle spherical particle have less surface area and they show good flow properties shape also influences rate of dissolution of a drug the methods which are used to determine the particle shape are microscopy method and light scattering method next topic under fine particle characterization is particle surface area drug particle is small it is having the greater surface area and greater the surface area means solubility is better and wetting property of a drug is better but up to an extent the various method which are used to determine particle surface area are adsorption method and air permeability methods next important parameter under physical properties are flow properties of a material factors that affect flow properties are changes in particle size shape surface area density frictional forces van der waal forces etc so first of all we are going to discuss about hausner's ratio hausner ratio is an indirect index of ease of powder flow if the hausner ratio is less than 1.25 that indicate the flow properties are better and if the hausner ratio is greater than 1.25 then flow properties are not good the formula to calculate hausner ratio is hausner ratio is equal to tap density divided by bulk density the next pa uh, parameter under flow properties of material is kars index the kars index or kars compressibility index is an indication of compressibility of a powder which can be determined by Uh, tap density minus bulk density divided by tap density multiplied by 100. This is the tabular representation which is showing a correlation ship between the Kars consolidation index, Hausner ratio, and particle flow. If the Kars index value is 5 to 10, Hausner ratio is 1 to 1.11, then the flow property of the powder is excellent. And if the Kars index value is between 11 to 15 and hausner ratio is 1.12 to 1.18 then the flow property of the powder is good and so on next parameter under the flow property of a particle is angle of repose the frictional force in a loose powder or granule can be measured by the angle of repose This is basically the maximum angle possible between the surface of a pile of the powder and or granule and the horizontal plane. The formula is given in the slide. Sin theta is equal to height upon 0.5 base. The table is representing a correlation ship between angle of repose and flow properties. If the angle of repose is less than 25, the flow property of the powder or granule is excellent and if the angle of repose is greater than 40, then the flow property of the powder is very poor. So, in this session we discussed about introduction about preformulation, its goals and objectives, physicochemical properties, 
under physico chemical characterization we studied about physical properties and in the next session i will talk on solubility profile under this solubility profile we will discuss the topic of pka ph and partition coefficient thank you everyone